Hello and welcome to this video on uh, Tico 3D. So this is my second video. The first video I did uh, was talking about uh, Tico shipping on July 1st. Uh, they missed that date a little bit because they had an issue with the PCB supplier. But that only delayed them about a week. So the 100 Ticos that they planned on shipping out um, have been shipped. It's now July 18th which they planned on their factory being approved and everything by July 15th, and then that would allow them to ship out uh, Ticos faster. So hopefully that is the case. There hasn't been really information uh, saying that that's not the case, so I'm going to say uh, that it's pretty good that it's open right now and they're using it. I haven't seen any comments to the contrary from Tico, um, but... Right now, they're really focusing on the questions and stuff that the 100, uh, or at least the people that have gotten their Tico from that first 100, um, have been asking about. So, let's take a look here. Um, a guy, uh, let's see, Luke, Luke Tansell, he got his Tico. He put a Flickr album up. I'm going to show some of the pictures um on the screen and um it looks really good uh the shipping material isn't finalized uh his had a few issues with shipping um which we'll get to and i'll and i'll show a picture of it but first he said that uh there's a little bit of epoxy or something around the plug-in that he had to wipe off so that wasn't that great um it is shipping with uh let's see here the blue PLA plastic um, that they said it would, um, but the guy used a white filament, so I don't I don't know what he used. I just know that blue is what it shipped with, and that's really what's in there. Um, and so the issue he had in shipping was that one of the uh, arms came out of its uh, slot in the um, I can't even think of the word. <laughs> anyway, it came out of its slot in the in the 3D printer, um, that can keeps it from going side to side, you know, but allows it to go up and down. So the little little place in the in the body of the of the 3D printer. And he said that it was really easy uh, to pop it back in, and and it worked fine. Um, the print that he did. Um, looks pretty good to me. I, again, I, I'm a, doing this from a standpoint that this is a really, really cheap printer from a first time manufacturer. It's not going to be like a MakerBot. It's not going to be like anything that you're going to get for, you know, above $200 or anything like that. Um, you know, and the software is still in, in beta. They're, you know, working on a few things and, and we'll get into that later on, but the print that he did uh, looks somewhat easy, somewhat complex. It's got some points on it. Um, however, it didn't do the topper of it. Like, it didn't finish it all the way. He thinks that has to do with the fact that he got it from uh, Thingiverse. So, who knows? Maybe he'll upload um, some more and we'll, we'll see. So, uh, I wanted to start with the good because his his ended up uh, turning out pretty pretty good. Um, and I, I don't see any, uh, thing else from him of the contrary as of right now. Um, but let's go to the, f one of the first guys that got his, I believe it was works. Um, let me see here. Yes. If it, it, it was works on the, uh, Tico, uh, comments uh, on the kickstarter um i'll have uh, i'm gonna the little bit of the video should be playing right now um so and, I, and i'll put a link to everything that i pulled from in the description so he was trying to print the same transaxle that um tico printed in one of its vimo videos uh it did not work out very well um Tico has addressed this, hopefully, and has by now updated it. Apparently, it was an issue with the calibration of the 
uh, temperature of the heat, um, they have a slightly different heat nozzle or whatever it's called in the final production than that of the Tico wall. And it's like a, they said a two to three degree difference. So they had to uh, correct that. Um, so they, they said that they were going to do that. So hopefully that's already been done. Um, so that caused some issues. Another issue that he ran into was um, shifting of the print. Um, I'll show a picture of what happened there. That does not look good at all. Uh, and hopefully that is fixed as well. Now, people are saying that the shifting is more of a hardware issue and not a software issue, but if the software doesn't work correctly, then of course it's going to have uh, some impact on the hardware. So I think once they get the software finalized, and which is what they're doing with these 100, print, 100 printers, um, and what they did with the Tico wall. So the Tico wall got them most of the way there. But then, you know, when you get it in other people's hands, a hundred other people's hands, then, you know, there's other issues that pop up. So hopefully that uh, all gets fixed. But the bottom of this print looks pretty decent um, for what you would expect. Sorry, from a, uh, you know, printer of this caliber, of this price. Um, and then there's some more pictures here of the transaxial axle build not going <laughs> well at all like it's just it, yeah it's just really really bad um so again i think it's been fixed based on the uh luke tancel uh pictures that came way after um the uh works video and print so i would assume that it's been fixed now another thing that we get in the works video um, is a few seconds of what the software looks like. And it looks to me really good, um, really streamlined, real simple. Um, not, not very complicated at all. You have temperature control, you have layer thickness, you have infill density, you can decide if you want to have uh, supports on it. Um, so, that's that's really good. Um, one thing is, is it does seem a little bit slow sending it to uh, the printer, but right now it's oh my god, you keep yawning. <sighs> uh, okay, but right now it is only it can only be used in access point mode, and you can't print over the cloud, uh, which is what you know the cloud being using your Wi-Fi network. So, which they're, they're going to activate once everybody gets theirs. Um, they just didn't want uh, to do that because they have some last minute security features or something like that. I, I can't remember what they said, but there was a reason that they didn't want to activate it. And they're like, AP mode's good enough for right now. Because uh, they said that the range on that is really, really good. Um, no one said anything to the contrary, so or tested what the range is. Once I get mine, I'll test all of this. I'll go in depth on all of this stuff and really tear this thing apart. Uh, <laughs> even though you know my expectations are, it's a hundred and seventy nine dollar printer made by a team that has never made a printer before. This is their first project. They're young. They're you know. So I, I there's a lot of things that I don't know. Um, how to, you know, there's, I'm not expecting much out of the, out of this. I expect a $179 printer made by first time people, you know, I'm not expecting, you know, something fantastic or anything. It, it, I understand what I bought. And, you know, I saw a video today of, of some kid it had to been, I, he can't be that old uh, you know, just ripping into Tico, you know, because, you know, he knows that they should have been doing things, you know, before, and I'm like, dude, you don't even know, you have no idea, you're, like, still in school, please, uh, you know, manufacturing, shipping, logistics, prototyping, testing, uh, 
quality control, having enough employees, answering questions, dealing with investors, dealing with Kickstarter is a completely comp more complex thing than, you know, people want to understand. And, you know, and even the people that put things on Kickstarter don't even understand going into it. Tico didn't. And they admitted it very early on that they're, they're like, oh my God, there's no way we can get this shipped by November like we thought of last year. Um, so, you know, at least they, they slowed down, they took their time and, you know, they got it going. So I think that shows a lot for them. So yes, they've only shipped a hundred right now, but there's more to come. There's a lot of lot a lot of restrictions that you have to deal with in in China and with shipping and with a lo whole lot of things. So what they've accomplished so far, I think, is is pretty good for never doing something like this uh, before. So um, I just wanted to make this video um, showing what the progress of Tico is right now. Um, sources for everything down in the description you can learn a lot from the tico kickstarter page if you just keep on going there every day that's what i do you can read comments from tico you can read comments now from people that actually have the tico um that's where you can find this video um again i look forward to getting my tico in i hope it comes in sometime in august um, but I'm a very, very late backer. I'm like 11,000. Uh, so I, I don't, I don't expect mine to get here in any, any good amount of time. So, uh, the best I can do right now is get information out on what, uh, has been put out. And if I can get my hands on the software, uh, somehow if they release it and, you know, you can access it without a Tico, I'll do that and I'll do a whole breakdown of that. Um, beforehand earlier before you know before i get the printer but hopefully i get the printer really soon uh don't count on it though uh so i hope you enjoyed this video uh if you want any more information uh leave comments down below and i'll try to answer them or, or point you in the right direction um but also look on the kickstarter page uh that is linked in the description so if you liked this video liked it if you disliked it dislike it uh please think about subscribing um, cause I'm going to do more videos on Tico. I'm also going to, once No Man's Sky comes out, I'm really going to get into that, uh, as well as, uh, World of Warcraft Legion. So if you like any of those things, uh, and you like listening to what I have to say or whatever, you don't like listening to what I have to say and you just like badgering me on the internet, that's fine too. A view is a view is a view. So, um, I'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching.